Just think, from the wreckage of the Titanic, iron engines were found, furniture was found, even some leather shoes were found, but not a single piece of human bone was found. Why is that? When every solid thing is present there, where did the bodies that sank with those things go? First of all, the Titanic broke into two parts and sank 12,500 feet deep in the e North Atlantic. It is as dark as a grave here. The temperature is freezing and the pressure is so high that a human body can be compressed in seconds. But the biggest factor is deep sea decomposition. When a body sinks to such depths, the process of soft or tissue decomposition begins immediately. Sea creatures like hackfish, amphipods and deep sea worms completely consume the flesh within a few weeks. Here you might be wondering, the flesh is gone, but what happened to the bones? Here too, the sea began to show its effect. Human bones are made of calcium phosphate. The combination of salt water and extreme pressure slowly According to scientific studies, bones do not survive in the deep ocean, especially when there are anaerobic bacteria that penetrate inside the bone and destroy it. In 2004, an important observation was made where leather shoes were found near the Titanic, but there was no trace of the body left in these shoes. Only the shoes and their shape were imprinted in the mud. The leather survived because the tanning process makes it bacteria-proof, but bones are not that resistant. Another reason for not finding bones is that ocean currents carried the bones far away from the wreckage site, but their fate was the same, meaning the flesh disappeared and the bones dissolved. If a body were trapped in a metal box, perhaps some parts might have survived, but open exposure erased everything. This is a natural process, and the Titanic wreckage site is a perfect example of it.